So I came across this website the other day, and it's a guest book for a website. And something that's really concerning to me is there's a ton of email addresses on this website, and a lot of them are at Yahoo, at Gmail, at Gmail, at Inbox. So I would assume that these are personal email addresses, and this is very concerning because, especially that it's all on one page, is somebody can make a scraper or a bot that's going to go onto a web page and take all these email addresses and put them into an Excel spreadsheet and do malicious things. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for this video, except without doing malicious things. And so I created a Python script that's going to scrape this entire web page for email addresses and phone numbers, but we're not going to be doing the phone number part for this video, and putting it all into an Excel spreadsheet. So here's my code right here. I'm not going to go over my code, but it's going to be on GitHub shortly after this video. And um, yeah, let's run this code. So here we go. Let me go back over here and copy the URL. By the way, this is probably going to be blurred out for the video because I don't want other people going here and finding these email addresses, even though it's pretty easy. This page is probably really easy to find if you're tech savvy. And we're going to paste this right here. And let's name the files uh, emails, if I can spell correctly, emails. So this is going to take a minute. And let me go back over here. Let me shorten this a little bit so you guys can see what's going to be happening in the uh, shell, all the scrapes. So usually what you'll see is if you go to websites, you'll see that some people have it so that their email addresses are like email address with brackets or parentheses at and bracket gmail or at yahoo.com or have the dot in brackets com and <clears throat> this is okay to some extent I mean there are some bots and some scrapers out there that can detect that and still um, replace the at and dot with actual at an at sign and a dot or a period and it's okay but I don't think it's the best thing to actually do and especially on this website right here we have please email C breathing brackets space space at space bracket gmail.com I mean this just looks silly and you'll see it also on the uh, Arduino website you can see now over here on the uh, shell that we're scraping the email addresses so let's go back over here Arduino contact <clears throat> and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see that even on the Arduino website it says webmaster at arduino.cc bizdev parentheses at arduino cc trademark print like I think it's it looks ridiculous and one thing that I think people can do to get around this or if people want to have people contact them through a website is have a contact form with a recaptcha at the bottom you know the recaptcha is the box where you have to click it it says I am not a robot or you have to pick the signs where or pick the images with street signs or you have to there's a little image box and you have to type in what's in the image you know that sort of stuff I think that's a lot better than modifying your email to look something like this because this just looks really silly and absolutely ridiculous in my opinion but anyways so we finished up scraping this entire web page and with my code I had it remove the duplicates so we actually came out to a total of 6,570 <clears throat> 6,570 email addresses there are four duplicate phone numbers 133 duplicate email addresses I got bored with my code and I wanted to figure out where I store my file so I printed out the exact directory and I printed out the time that it was completed and the size of the file so let's go ahead and go back over here and open up the Excel spreadsheet <clears throat> and here we go here is or here are all the email addresses that we scraped from the email or from the web page now that I have now that I have it into an Excel spreadsheet I can go and email 
all the email addresses on here or spam them saying I'm a Nigerian prince and I need money. I can go sell this information. I can go and upload this on a Facebook and target <clears throat> target them with advertisements. I mean there's a ton of different malicious things that I can do with these email addresses and there's no really good way to prevent people from doing this sort of behavior other than protecting yourself and my best recommendation is one don't put your personal email address on display on a website and second of all if you're a business and you're going to put your email address on a website I don't think you should I think you should have a contact form instead with a recaptcha at the bottom so that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please hit that like button at the bottom. It'll help me out a lot. Um, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Take care.